And I'm joined now by head coach Ron Beacom of Neely Oakdale. And coach, uh, it's got to be a satisfying win for you. Summerlin, even though they're two and three now, that's that's a pretty good football team. You feel pretty good about the, the way your team played tonight? I really do. You know, I, I, the biggest thing I really like is I felt our kids competed. You know, they were tested early, obviously, and, and, and I told you guys before the game, I said the biggest thing that concerned me a little bit is if they line it up with that kind of size and just came right at us a little bit. And obviously that's what they did, and, and we, we struggled a little bit with it. And we, you know, they're kind of getting to the first level and getting taught to our linebackers, making it tough for those two kids. And uh, halftime we talked about doing a few things differently that way, and we were able to get them, you know, so they weren't at second and six, second and five all the time, and now they're second and eight, and we get a stop there right away. We get score, that was big, and then get another one, get another score. So we were back to working from on top, and I thought that was a big confidence boost. What were the, some of the adjustments that you made, especially against Thompson? It seemed like he was just unstoppable in that first half. The second half really bottled him up. What were you able to do differently in the second half? Don't take this wrong. I think Thompson's kid's a very good running back, and he runs really hard, and he does a lot of great things. But I felt like we were having more problems with the kids up front. I mean, that, they were creating things for that kid, and he was hitting the holes hard. I'll give him all the credit in the world. But where we were having issues up front, and we instead of just sitting there all the time, we started moving people around a little bit and making them kind of do some things differently. And that was that was making it where they couldn't move the line of scrimmage so much. It also freed up our linebackers a little bit because I got two pretty good linebackers. And uh, when, when they didn't have kids constantly in their face, they were able to be freed up and make some more plays. And I thought our kids did a really good job. Like I said, they competed. We got a lot more aggressive uh, the second half. Well, let's go back. It's a, a tie ball game. You're fourth down in your own territory, and you throw a fake punt at them. It certainly helps to have a, a guy like Aiden Cooster back there uh, at the punting position throwing the football. Well, what, did, what went into that decision? <laughs> You're going to have to ask him. <laughs> Honestly, I, I, I have all the confidence in the world in Aiden. Every time we line up, he has a choice. He can punt it, he can run it, he can throw it. In that particular play, um, he chose to throw it. And I, I didn't put the brakes on him because um, I know that he makes good decisions and, you know, it's for him to throw it and have Carson on the other end of it, I felt pretty good about that situation also. So uh, about the decision, you're going to have, have to ask him because it was his decision. He made a good one and he made a play. And, you know, I tell the kids a lot that, you know, big time players make big time plays and big time games. And at that particular moment, that was a big time and, and our, our big time players stepped up. Yeah, absolutely. That's got to be a luxury to have a player you trust like that. <laughs> absolutely it is. Yeah, makes you look a lot smarter, I can tell you that. <laughs> so now you had, uh, you got some tough games, very difficult district, and, and probably some under-the-radar teams, too. They're, uh, much like Summerlin, they're a little better than what the record shows. What do you see? Is, do you like where you're at as a team? What do you see that maybe you'd like to see improve as you get uh, later into the into the year? I like where we're at. I think we're doing you know, a lot of good things. We're playing a lot of young kids up front, and each week they just get a little better. They start to understand a little bit better what it is we're trying to do. Um, we've been tested in a lot of different ways. Um, you know, the loss of Burwell helped us kind of realize that, you know, our practices had to change a little bit, and, and I think we've done that. And, um, you know, I, I'm, I'm, like I said, I'm proud of the way they compete. I think I, think I kind of noticed in practice the last couple of weeks that we our, our, our competition level in practice is better, our focus is better. So I like all those things. You know, quite honestly, we have to continue to get better. And those kids up front have to realize that it doesn't matter what grade you're in. If you're playing on a Friday, you're a varsity player and uh, and compete that way. And, and hopefully we'll get one or two kids back. And I think that'll help us too. Absolutely. Well, Coach, congratulations on a big win tonight. Thanks so much for joining us. Uh, thank you so much for having us.